The Northern Territory government has been dealt a major blow with a Labor MP announcing he will quit Parliament just nine months out from the next election. Former Aboriginal Affairs Minister Ken Vowles will stand down in January. His announcement coming 12 months after he was sacked from the Cabinet and kicked out of caucus after falling out with Chief Minister Michael Gunner. On the last night of Parliament for the year, a bombshell from a former Labor minister. The crux of this message is that I intend to vacate the seat of Johnston. Ken Vowles announced he'd be quitting politics just a year after he was dumped from the Labor caucus. But I honestly feel I can no longer represent the constituents of Johnston in the way they deserve. They have no voice in government. Mr Vow's expulsion came last December after an email criticising the government's economic management was leaked to the media. He maintains he played no part in that leak. There is no mistake that proper caucus processes were not followed. It clearly states that in the caucus rules. He says he was sacked because he was seen as a threat to Michael Gunner's leadership and has now called for the unpopular Chief Minister to stand down, saying Labor had long lived by the mantra that the party was bigger than the individual. But that message has fallen by the wayside and replaced with disunity is death, which translates to, in territory politics, obey me or else. And it could be any one of you next. Mr Vowles will stand down on January 31 next year, just soon enough to ensure the government is forced into a by-election ahead of the general election next August. Former AFL star Joel Bowden is expected to replace Mr Vowles as Labor's candidate. Yeah, I just want to finish with everybody enjoy your Christmas break, have a great Christmas and have a fantastic 2020. Thank you. Labor's chances of a fantastic 2020, however, now seem to have been dealt a major blow. Matt Cunningham, Sky News, Darwin.